How long has this been going? Um, Baby Safe was established in 2008. Okay, and what was the thinking that led to it? Um, our director, Bethany Arndt, when she first moved to South Africa, just noticed the epidemic of baby dumping through the newspapers and through word of mouth. It's an issue that she heard about and wanted to help. So take me through the process. Um, a, a woman who has heard about Baby Safe comes here and does what and then what happens? Comes to the safe and opens the door here where on the inside there's a weight sensor mattress. She places the infant on the inside and closes the door which locks behind her and then within three minutes a emergency response person from our team will come to fetch the child from the safe because the safe is connected to three different cell phones that trigger you know, every minute with text messages and phone calls alerting us that a child has been left in the safe. So once the infant is placed from the outside of the store, we come through and are able to retrieve, uh, retrieve the child from the inside that's on top of this mattress. So we would open up this back door and the baby's sitting on the inside. How many babies have been put into the safe? You know, I can only speak for the safe in particular. Because there are others around the There are Park. several, yeah. So. We have nine safes total, uh, eight of them being in, you know, the Western Cape, one being in Swaziland. I'm sure that you would, you would prefer a situation where women are not getting pregnant without a plan mapped out for their baby, and I know that's part of the work you do as well. Yeah, absolutely. We consider this a last resort. We hope that the other services that we provide would empower a mother enough so that she wouldn't have to choose this. This would be, you know, the last option. Um, but yeah, we do a lot of intervention just to try to equip mothers to take care of their babies. To what sort of thing do you do? We, um, we provide a group of what we call mommy mentors and women to kind of walk the journey with these women who are pregnant or parenting for the first time just so they have that moral support and education to know how to take care of a child and feel that they're not alone. And we provide pregnancy counseling going to the hospitals and do the um, pre-abortion counseling for these women and uh, just to provide information and to explain the options, to talk about coping and if they follow through with the abortion to offer them uh, support afterwards. Um, yeah, just to prevent the depression that often follows 